Jesus Murphy, I just friggin' mowed this on the weekend and it's already a whole friggin' forest of dandelions. Mind you, this could be good. This could be good. Cause guys, today is Tuesday. As of yesterday, I had intentions on going fishing, but we didn't cause we ended up getting storms last night. So, but I started something yesterday that a lot of YouTubers I watch have been doing. And that's called the, I'll only eat what I catch. Because I'm stupid, I decided to start it yesterday in the middle of a, of a friggin' storm. Now, keep in mind, I'll only eat what I catch is just another way of saying I plan on doing a five day fast. So if I don't catch anything, I'm not too worried. However, tonight I'm going fishing because as you saw outside, it's freaking bright, it's freaking nice. The one thing I'm looking for is where the heck I put those spoons I had. I had a, there they are. I want to put these guys and what left I have of these guys, where are the other ones? I want to put them in my, um, I don't know where the bigger ones went because I want to catch a pike with them. The one guy said the five of diamonds is what you want to use. <sighs> where did I put my other lure box? Oh, whatever. Anyway, we're going to go do some fishing. We're going to hit up a different location. One that I've already been to before, but we went there last year and that's where I caught the white bass. And white bass are currently not on the restricted list. Smallmouth and largemouth are, but I don't believe white bass qualify. And if they do, then they really should specify that in the regs. I'm telling you, man, I've never seen such a mixed up set of rules than the shit they throw out on that site. I'm gonna chime back in, I gotta find my shit. Guys, this challenge of only eating what I catch is going to go from today, well, from yesterday, but I never told you guys about it yesterday because plans got kiboshed and I just kind of never started recording. Um, but they're going to go from yesterday until Friday. And Friday, if I don't catch anything by then, well, five day fast it is, whatever. You know, it's not a big deal. I've done worse. I've done 10 days, I've done 31 days. Five day fast ain't piss. So, let's get the gear back here. Got the bait caster, got the spinner. I'm gonna grab the tackle bag, put the dog back in the house, get my wallet, because I forgot that. Then we'll freaking head her out. All right guys, the way this challenge works is non-caloric beverages are 100% permitted. So like Diet Pepsi, bubbly carbonated water, those things, not a big deal. Anything foraged, also permitted which is why I said sweet about the dandelions because you can make a dandelion sweet tea that is loaded with nutrition and we might actually do that for this challenge. Everything else is already in the truck. So uh, let's pitter patter and uh, freaking have at her. All right guys, you remember this spot? I used to ice fish here, way out there. Well, we're back for year two. Of regular fishing. Hey guys, remember when I said I was looking for my spoon? Found it. It was already in my bag. It was actually in the tackle box. I just didn't realize it was there. And I realized why there were a dollar. Here, let me get the spoon out of the water here and I'll show you something. I don't know if you can see this. But uh, she's already rusting. Obviously made out of the highest quality Chinese metals. I believe the term is Chineseium. We're gonna try this out. Sarah said she's gonna be here soon. She's just getting bait. There were two kids fishing around me, but they moved down somewhere, I don't know where. And I'm just waiting for her to show up before somebody comes along and takes her spot. But everybody around here is using minnows. So I'm thinking the other day when I caught the bass on the crankbait, the reason being is it simulates a minnow. I should go back to my truck. When she gets here, I might go back to my truck. And uh, even though I got worms in the bucket, I might say screw it and go get those gulps, gulp the lives and run them because they're still good. They're, you know, freshly thawed, ready to rock. So it's funny. There's a ambitious rock bass right over here. And every time I come in with this spoon, he comes flying out, realizes the size and then goes, nope. Okay, he's not doing it now. It was funny. I just want to catch a pike. So that would be good eating. Anyway guys, I'll try him back in if uh, anything happens to happen. I doubt anything's gonna happen. I'm gonna go hungry this week. See that, but in the water right there is a brown water snake. I just noticed I'm trying to climb on the rock. Not a fan of those things. Make sure it doesn't grab my lure. 
So if it does, it can have it. Mind if I catch it, can I eat it? I wouldn't want to. Come on, buddy. I don't think I can boat flip them. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh no, it broke off. Oh God. Yeah, okay. Pass me. How the? Oh my God, he's really in there. He's a bike. Yeah, you might have to bring him home. I'm gonna bring him home. Do you have your glove with you? Yeah. Did I have that too? Yeah. <laughs> or nut handy. Oh no no! He's gone. You're fucked. Is he gone? Yep. Dang it. Yep. No, I need to. We need Yo, you got a pike. What were you using? Guys, just recording. Lost a pike. Using a crankbait. So sad. So sad. Guess I'm not eating tonight, guys. That was a good one. Oh, he's still there. He slid straight down. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Can you grab him? Yeah. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! no. <laughs> Fuck. There he goes. Oh, wait, net! Ha! No, 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 you mother. You are not getting away on my phone. <laughs> this is a good one. No! Oh, come on. Oh, today's the first for everything. <laughs> As if you got him. <laughs> He's stuck you want to no, put? <laughs> you want to put him in the net? Good idea. And then. Fuck! Oh no! Shit! Okay. Yeah. There you go, Adam. Here you wanna... There's your. You are so. Did lucky. you YouTube that? Oh, it's all YouTube. There you go. You are so lucky. Hero. <laughs> That's a big gator. I would keep that closer. <laughs> Jesus. Well, guys, I had a pike, forgot to turn the GoPro on. Another pike, a second pike. It's okay, you and, lost it anyway. and I lost it because I can't get down there. Yes, he can. He yes, just chooses not to. Yeah, He's going to hate us. I this is all like, edited so bad. <laughs> no, no, I'll leave it rough. Like, the problem is I can't get back. I can't get back. Yeah, but you guys are walking that way. So walk that way. You can walk any way you okay. want. Go. Whoa, 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 that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's not gonna work, dude. Oh, <laughs> this is spring loaded. I don't. Bungie. He hasn't paid me this month to be his friend, so. Actually, yeah, I haven't received a payment ever. What's this payment uh, stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I heard you about money. I oh. Money. I see how it is. I guarantee you the pike are just swarming the front of this area. Because I saw rock bass earlier. It was funny. I would cast out with the spoon, and as I brought the spoon back in, the rock bass would shoot out and go, nah, it's too big and come back. Yeah. So that's probably why the pike are out, is they're nailing the rock bass. Can I eat this? What is this? Underwire to my bra. Dude, if that's the underwire to your bra, you're lying. I wonder what the heck this is from. A steering wheel for what? SpongeBob's car? I don't know, it's it's wired. It looks like it's homemade. It's definitely somebody's fabrication. Put that over by the bucket. Hey, there I got a Walter. Gotta take a picture of Walter before you send him back. Who's a little buddy? <laughs> He's about a 13, 12. <laughs> Hi, Wally. <laughs> Yay, fishy. Hey, sir, I caught another Walter. Oh. Uh, oh, I wish I might. Oh, that's about 16, I think. Yeah, he's not big enough. Yeah. Oh. oh. Did he die? <laughs> Did he die? No, he's. he's gone. I think he's gone. Probably got a he's bit of a headache. Head pretty, oh, I wanted to picture with that guy. He smacked his head pretty effing good. Okay. 
Well guys, I just caught a walleye, but it wasn't on camera because this GoPro is a piece of crap and it didn't turn back on. Yeah, literally just bought this thing in March. So guys, the Walters like the worms, the pike like the crankbait. So that's three fish tonight. And I think only one of them was on camera for me. He didn't really catch one, he's lying everybody. Yeah, he's trying to be like Sarah. Well, I'm not gonna turn the camera off now, like so I'm not gonna catch any more tonight. Freaking bugs are coming out. That was a good cast. Man, I like this rod. Just sends it. Got one. It's just a little guy. Alright guys, another walleye. She might be of size. Oh man, 17.5. Not cool. Alright buddy, well, see you later Charlie. Go swim with the fins. Next year. <laughs> Next year, they'll be legal. <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to bring the slot size down to like 15 inches. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it. Getting attacked by bugs. Pretty sure I lost my worm. Yup. Alright. We got a pike. We're good. Tomorrow night Sarah and I are going to hit up the wall. That'll be alright. We'll catch more there. Alright, let's go to the truck. Well, definitely bigger than Timmy the Tooth that I caught over the winter, that's for sure. <laughs> He's a big one. So, I gotta clean him up there, which is awesome, because now I get to test out my new knife. I will not be filming the cleaning process, but I'm gonna do the five fillet method. So, uh, from here to here, here to here, uh, back strap, flip, do, and then remove the skin, cook him up. No, we're not gonna eat him tonight. It's pretty late. It's currently 10 o'clock. I stayed a little later because I wanted to plant the fish. And I caught two walleye and two pike. Well, the one pike got away because I was trying to boat flip him. He wasn't hooked right. It is what it is. All right, guys. So I'm thinking for this challenge, this five-day challenge, I think I'm going to do a 48 challenge. I'm going to call it a 48 challenge of eating only what I catch. So it's going to be today and tomorrow while working a nine to five. That's a twist that nobody's ever had, okay? Everybody who's done these catch what I eat or, or uh, only eat what I gather challenges are all big YouTubers who don't have a daytime job. So I'm doing this with a daytime job. So uh, I guess we're gonna call this one here Captain Christopher Pike. I think Bloke wanted that name, so Christopher Pike. Come on down, you're the next contestant on Get In My Belly. All right, so gonna go ahead and chop this guy up and uh, go from there. Oh yeah, and the last pike, I don't know if I told you, 17. <laughs> Freak seeks, he would've just been one more freaking inch. Gotta add a pike and a pike and a pickerel for supper. Oh, well, can't be too greedy. Let's get this guy carved. Well, day one was a success. We got some food. We're gonna eat it tomorrow because I'm actually not hungry right now and I got to get to bed because it's 10 o'clock and I'm usually in bed by now so so one of the problems I've been having with this GoPro you heard me say that's a piece of junk I don't know what it is but every once in a while it just doesn't turn on when you press the quick launch button and it's been giving me that trouble since day one I wanted to bring it back for warranty work but the new restrictions started happening and I couldn't bring it back to get it get it looked at so or get it replaced I got to go through GoPro so Problem is, is GoPro wants a receipt and I can't find it, which means I gotta get it from Sports Check. So I gotta see if they can order, get me a receipt so I can get this thing looked at. Now, it could just be the memory card. This memory card that's in here is the one I took out of the GoPro Hero 4. And that thing was kind of funky. So it could just be the memory card acting up. What I may do is uh, get another memory card and see what happens with that. 
But yeah, I, when I caught the um, the first walleye, I hit the record button, nothing happened, hit the record button. The way you fix it is you open the battery door, pull the battery, put the battery back in, and then the camera starts working again. So I'm thinking it could be a memory card flaw. We'll figure that out. Hey people, tomorrow's another day. We're gonna go more fishing after work. So uh, let's see if I get to eat again. All right, later. All right, guys, first break of the day, and I'm gonna make my fish for two. It's currently 10 after one. I'm just gonna do it in the pressure cooker uh, because I think I may have left some bones in. I don't think I did it properly when I cleaned the pike. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it in the pressure cooker, blast it for a couple minutes, and she should come out good. Now, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was why I'm doing only a 48 hour when originally I was gonna do a full week, even though I didn't eat anything on Monday. Well, the reason why I'm doing a 48 hour video, theoretically it's been 72 hours, is um, tonight's gonna be my last good night of fishing. So after tonight, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, it's gonna rain Saturday, Friday, Sunday, bullshit, it sucks, I hate it. So I figured because I'm doing a challenge like this, while working a job because you know everybody else who does these challenges these 24 hour 48 hour 72 hour their job or their income is youtube this is how they make their money i'm probably one of the first ones to make a video like this who isn't making money off of youtube a lot of them are making money from this is their bread and butter where for me working is my bread and butter so i'm doing eight hours of my day is spent working where after work I can go out and fish for a couple hours and if I don't catch anything I don't eat. The other reason why I'm making these videos is I find them kind of stupid. So hear me out. The reason why I say they're stupid is because like a guy my size I could easily go like I've done it 31 days without food. No big deal. You know it, it, it wasn't that hard for me to fast for 31 days. So for someone to go three days without food they're not gonna die they're gonna have discomfort but by no means are they going to get, fall ill and have issues they're just not gonna have food <laughs> you know it, it's it's i i follow these friggin these, these videos and i watch people do the 24 hours and they're like oh i can't uh, it's six hours in and i haven't eaten anything and i'm already feeling weak and i'm just like some of the guys i watch who say that are you know fat is fuel that's all i gotta say so if you have a like maybe ace from ace videos i could see him maybe having a potential issue after 48 hours of no food because the guy doesn't carry that much body fat therefore he doesn't have much of a reserve to go on when he runs out but you know zach fowler he's a big guy he also does keto therefore he's fat tuned so his body is used to burning fat so even when he's not consuming calories you can tell the guy carries a probably around a 20 percent body fat maybe now more i'm not sure like he's got the chubby cheeks so he could be in the 2022 area so he can probably go like an easy seven days without food before he feels any sort of lethargy i know i could i've done it the only part that really sucks is the discomfort because your body is hungry and the hormones are going to kick in. Really the whole reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to do at least a 72 hour fast to reset the gut biome because of all the bullshit I ate on the weekend, the potato chips, the s'mores, the hot dogs and all that. Lots of sugars and stuff and that kind of threw me off loop and I want to get back onto a more keto centric diet. And the easiest way to do that is 72 hour fast resets the entire gut biome then you roll in to win. Oh yeah, first meal of the challenge. Big dirty pike. And for beverage, we're gonna be having uh, this stuff. Bubbly, blackberry bubble, sparkling water. Just to show you, zero calories, zero everything. It literally tastes like you licked an old CRT TV. year but we're back at the wall yeah back at the wall so water levels are up a little bit 
Last time I was here, you could see the dirt in the bottom of this thing. You can still see the dirt, but there's a little bit of water. But you can tell she needs a bit more water for sure. The kids were here fishing earlier and we're catching pike and stuff. So you know what? I'm gonna grab my net just in case because uh, snapping off sucks. I'm gonna go stand over yonder and see if we can catch some more dinner. Okay, bye. All right, guys, sorry for the wind. We're gonna chuck her out first cast of the day. We're chucking it into the wind, so let's see how well this thing birds nests. You know what? That's not too bad. Just doing a straight retrieve like I did yesterday. You know, the problem is, is it's dragging on the bottom. If there is a pike out there, one of the kids that was here last year fishing said he was here today just after school and he was fishing away and he caught a couple pike and a couple sheep. Don't know if he kept them or not. I don't know, we'll try everything. We'll try every angle possible. There's some fishing rods and towel and stuff here, so obviously I'm kind of on someone's spot, but they're not here now. If they come back and make a fuss, I'll leave. All right, guys, I'll chime back in if anything bites. Either way, I can tell you one thing, eating uh, 460 grams of pike for lunch, you know, I'm pretty full right now. I'm, I'm very, very, very full. So catch anything or not, I am not too worried. Guys, I decided to come over to this side and I just had a bite, but it, it, it spit it. I don't, the hooks look like they're wrapped on themselves. So I don't think I had a chance to hook it. The problem is the treble hooks they put on this uh, lure from Amazon, they're a bit too, uh, I want to say a bit too, a bit too long. I'm gonna turn you guys back on just in case he's back out there and he comes after it again. Cause sometimes when you, you catch a fish and it breaks off in the water, it spits it, but reaction bites are a thing. So let's get it back out there and see what we can do. Turning the camera guys on. I'm turning the camera on right now because Sarah had a bird's nest on her spin cat and her spinning rod right, right here. And if she catches a fish while she's hand bombing this in, it's, it's gold. So we'll see. Oh, no, okay. So she was day. using one of these. Hey, Bobby, you know what those are. You use those things, those contraptions, those green and spinny stuff, junk. Okay, bye. Oh. Call Sarn. It didn't have the GoPro on, guys, and the friggin' red devil caught a pike. I don't have it, though. I let go. I let go. I didn't have the net. Oh, my God. Why do I fish with these people? Guys, it's uh, currently 8.41. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh... So far, we haven't had much action tonight. I had, uh, apparently there's a bass bedding down here and that's what I pulled out of the water, it wasn't a pike. And the people over yonder caught a bunch of pike tonight. Yeah, not, but it put on YouTube. Well, it wasn't my fish, so. But the pike was, I think he said 36 inches long and uh, 20 inch girth, like it was a it was a tank, guessing. 15 20 pounds. I'm gonna say, yeah, okay. Okay. It wouldn't look good on it wouldn't look good on Okay, it wouldn't look good on the GoPro because I'm in wide angle. Yeah. So like unless but I got up close and personal, it. which you shouldn't do during COVID apparently. What? It's against get up close and personal with strangers. You shouldn't do that apparently. But uh so far the spring strut is not worms in a jig, except for for some reason it was working last night. Last night it was working pretty good. So I tried worms in a jig and I was able to sail it out with the new rod, that Matrix rod, guys. That thing oh, is king. It is amazing for casting. So far, um, yeah, the wall hasn't been producing tonight. For me, anyway. And for Sarah. Yeah. We're on the wrong side. And you did tell me. I told you when I got here. I know. I know. Well, I'm going to carry on. I don't really care if I don't catch anything for dinner tonight because tomorrow the challenge is over. Um, and I'm still full in that pike, so good times. Oh, guys. I just missed another one. I was, uh, I'm using the spinning setup right now because the walleye are out and braid. They can see the line. They won't bite it. So just had a bite and it spit it. I think it's what the problem is, is these hooks on these lures are cheap and I should re-rig with better hooks. Shut up, Tiff. Shut up, Tiff. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. 
Oh, he spit it. He was small though, it was just a little walleye. Oh, was he? Yeah. Got him. Nice. Nope. He spit it. They're right over here. If you're hooking on some worms. What? They're right over here. Just kidding. <laughs> See, this is why I don't like fishing with you. What? This is why I don't like fishing with you. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at that. We got another one here. I just got a bite guy. too. Oh, that's good. I just got a bite too. Actually. Hey, little buddy. Thank you for coming out and playing. At least I didn't get skunked tonight. Yeah, me either. I grabbed you by the wrong end. I just end. got a little guy here too. Oh, he's so little. Yeah, he's skipping along the water, Adam. He's so little. You, and no YouTube? Oh, no YouTube is on. Oh, look at this. Just a little guy. Oh, we can do a fish bump. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I put the worm back in the water and didn't get skunked. <laughs> All right, buddy. Go back, grow up, and get your brother to come out. There you go. Have fun. Got him. Ooh, ooh, he's he's pulling. He's pulling. Come here, buddy. Boat flip. I don't know why you're freaking out, bud. You ain't going. Three cast, three on now. All right, buddy. See, I'm trying to save your life. Got another one, boys. Got another one, but he's not regulation. Go be free. Rod came apart. Hey. Triple header. Yeah. Yes. Almost worthy of a fish bump. And then that's not a big kick. That's not been brought in that his, and I just had mine. Like, I just came right up. Ah. Oh, he's buzzing. He's packing shit over here. Ah, sorry about that. I had my light on. Is that what it is? Yeah, when I turn the light on, it just drives them in, but I needed to see what I was doing there to get the hook off the guy. keep forgetting to bring the tiki torches with me. We used to bring them out last year and stick them in the holes. And they, and they keep the bugs away from you while you're trying to fish. Sometimes we start a fire in the pit back there. Yeah. Yeah, I got one of those. Supposedly they work. The thermosol? It's the same thing as those those picks, those pick coils, exact same stuff, just it's more concentrate. Okay. Oh, you got one. Oh, freak, this guy just came right at the shore and grabbed it. Right at the shore. Crazy little son of a gun. Oh, I just hooked my net. You guys can't see anything on the old YouTubes, but let me go ahead and get some light on the situation here. There we go. Another Waltonian. Let's go ahead and get this guy here gripped and get that hook out of him. All right, another one. Okay, let's go play.
All right, guys, I'm back home. Sorry for all the fan noises. It's a freaking sauna in here right now. What would you expect? I got these two rigs, Bitcoin mining. But um, anyway, tonight, even though I didn't catch anything worth keeping, dude, that was super fun. Holy crap. Like, I turned the GoPro off because it got so dark, but like, we were literally casting. Like the one little kid, you, you, four for four, casted, boom, Walter, casted, boom, Walter. I was catching them on dollar ram, like on the old, those uh, Amazon baits, not dollar ram baits. They might as well be dollar ram baits because I think I only paid $18 for 20 crank baits. Like I got some top water poppers, uh, some jerk baits, and some, um, uh, what the frig are they, crank baits. But they might as well be dollar ram because they're super cheap. So, man, that, um, that was a good time. That was, a, and I think Buddy was right. That wasn't a pike that I caught off. The, the, that was a big bass that was bedding down below. I feel kind of bad for disrupting her because, you know, she's trying to protect her shit from other predators. She's got babies to make so that we can catch them later on and put them in the grease. I feel kind of bad. But anyway, guys, didn't catch anything for dinner, but you know what? I'm still full from that pike, so I really don't care. Anyway, that's pretty much going to end this challenge and this video. I'm probably going to continue eating just one meal a day. Uh, I, I got to lose some weight. I'm back down to 245 now, which is nice because I was 260 after the weekend. I know it was all water weight, but I want to get myself back down to 220, maybe lower. So I'm going to be uh, going full-blown keto and this here... 48 hour, 72 hour, whatever we're going to call it. This here was literally just to get my body back into ketosis so that when I start eating my keto foods, the body's fat tuned and we're ready to rock again. So uh, I'm going to stop it with the carbs if I feel like I want some chips. Uh, turns out they got some new pork rinds out that are actually flavored now. So that's pretty good. And they're, the flavoring they use is non-sugar. So... It's just regular flavoring. They got like a spicy one, all sorts of cool stuff. So that's pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, I'm going to shut this down here. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the fishing. That's mainly what this was about. And like the pike was pretty awesome last night. And that pike the girl caught today. I'm going to get Sarah to send me the picture there and I'll post that. It's, um, I think it was a kegger, like 38 inches long, I think Buddy said, and a 20 inch girth. He guesstimates 15, 20 pounds. Like, yeah, I would have let that go too. That's a little bit too big to eat. Uh, put it back in the lake and let it do population control, you know? Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, guys, remember, live to win and never give in. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.